Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are my rights as a probationer? As a probationer, you retain certain basic rights, although they are somewhat restricted compared to those not under any form of legal supervision. Here are some key rights and limitations you should know. Right to fair treatment and due process. You have the right to be treated fairly and to have your rights respected under the principle of due process. This includes the right to a hearing if your probation is revoked. Right to privacy. While on probation, your right to privacy is often limited. You may be subject to unannounced home or workplace visits from your probation officer, and you may be required to undergo drug testing. Right to be free from cruel or unusual punishment. You are protected against cruel or unusual punishment, but this does not necessarily apply to the conditions of your probation, which can include restrictions on your freedom. Conditions of release. Probation involves adhering to specific conditions set by the court, such as reporting to a probation officer, abstaining from new crimes, and avoiding certain people or places. Failure to comply with these conditions can result in further legal action. Search and seizure. As a probationer, you may be required to give up some of your Fourth Amendment rights as part of your conditions of release. This means you may be subject to searches and seizures without a warrant or probable cause as long as these searches are reasonable and comply with the requirements of due process. Legal representation. If you are accused of a probation violation, you have the right to legal representation. It is crucial to have an attorney to guide you through the process, challenge the prosecution's evidence, and present a strong defense on your behalf. Probation violation hearings. If a probation violation is alleged, there will be a hearing where the prosecution must prove the violation occurred. You have the right to present evidence and witnesses in your defense during this hearing. Notice and appeals. In some cases, you may receive a notice of proposed adverse action, which includes the reasons for the proposed action and your right to appeal to the Merit Systems Protection Board. However, these procedures can vary depending on the type of probation and the jurisdiction. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.